Hello, and welcome to the first episode of the newest show on campus, FPTV Beta. On the program, we'll be discussing funny moments from recent FPTV shows and give you an inside look at our station. I'm your host, Nick Haramiko, and I will be highlighting interesting clips from your favorite FPTV shows like Roommates, The Joe Show, and even any slip-ups on the news. On top of all that, of the station content, I will also be discussing entertainment and YouTube videos. On tonight's show, we will take a look at the first episode of Roommates this year, a strange new segment by Jill Andini, what Yoko Ono is up to now, blueberries, and I also have a musical guest to end the show. This is FPTV Beta. This is the first episode of FPTV Beta, and I just want to start out by inviting you to visit our website at fptv25.com for campus and station news, reviews, and anything else we think you may be interested in. You can even visit the site from your smartphone's browser. Let's get right underway with our first topic of the night, The Joe Show. To everyone's surprise, this show currently has the most episodes of any entertainment show this week. Cool kids, where are you? Anyway, host Joe Andini seemed to be a bit bitter about his losses at last year's Fitzies. Take a look at this. What happened to the Fitzies for you? Fitzy hopeful this year. Are All you right. looking for a Fitzy this <laughs> year? We were at the Fitzies, and you're not in Fitzies. That went terribly, terribly wrong. Maybe Joe will have a better chance at the Fitzies this year if he keeps up the production of his show. Oh wait, it was canceled this week. Now on to my favorite clip of this week from The Joe Show. Joe interviewed FPTV member Megan Graff about her life here on campus. Now we aren't sure how much of this interview is actually Megan and how much is fabricated, but all of it is pure genius. Take a look. So you live down Lakeview. I do. It's pretty much a uh, party every day. Yeah. Um, no, we, uh, my roommates and I actually don't drink. Oh. We're a sober house, so that's, if you guys ever nice. want to come and like talk about poetry, Bible readings, we do that nightly, so. You guys play Scrabble? Yes, uh, apples to apples, love that. Right. Twister sometimes. Scra Scrabble's nice. Yeah, Scrabble's good. R I read the dictionary a lot, yep. so I know a lot of words, yep. like hippopotamus. We love using like big that. words, intellectual words, it's it's awesome. Yep. So what is, what is Megan Graff's goals? My goals. For the, for the school year, and then we'll. For the school we'll year, um, finish, never finish. I'm not finishing. I'm probably going to stay here forever. That's nice. Um, my parents better pay, pay for it. So I'm just going to stay in college until maybe like 50, and hopefully someone will marry me by then. Oh. I need to find a rich husband. Rich husband? Anyone, yeah. Anyone in mind? Um, really, there's no one on this campus that comes up to my standards, yeah. so I really don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I think I've grown up as a person a lot, matured. I'm so mature. I'm probably the most mature person on this campus. Um, like I said, we do all types of adult things at my place. There's never any funny business. So, yeah, my number one thing is maturity. What does life have in store for Megan Graff after Franklin Pierce? Babies. <laughs> Men, I want babies. As many right. as possible that I can fit in to my birthing schedule of my body. I will take, okay, I have a taker in the, there we go, perfect, I'm already starting. So maybe I can start tonight. <laughs> I'll give you guys my number. Maybe they can flash it up on the screen. But babies, babies, babies. I will have the mini United Nations. I don't care what you are. We will make them. What else well, does life have in store I for mean, you? if I don't have the babies, if something doesn't work out, like if I get punched in the uterus too many times, <laughs> then I would like to be a reporter, um, on-air reporter, news, uh, maybe sports, politics, anything. Megan did give her phone number out in the air and hoped she would get going on her goal of 30 plus babies. Most of the control room even volunteered right there. This is probably one of my favorite interviews ever on FPTV and Megan made Joe shows worth watching this week. Joe debuted a new segment this week called Ask Alley. For this segment, Joe creates ridiculous scenarios that he thinks are common on a college campus and a so-called expert, Alley, gives advice. There was one scenario about the troubles of a college roommate stealing your food. Here's what Joe is worried about his roommate stealing and you look inside of the bag and there are only five measly cheats in there. Five measly cheats. Cheats? Really? What planet do we live on? This clip sums up this week's shows of Joe Show. What, uh, what happened there? Before we finish up on the Joe Show, here's Joe's new catchphrase that I'm sure will be sweeping the campus shortly. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Make what you sure. gonna do, Allie? Well, that ends my discussion on the first two episodes of The Joe Show. We'll take our first commercial break, and now I have to ask... What you gonna do? ...during the break. We'll be right back. <laughs> 